Yeah, morning folks. It's uh, the Friday the 20th of November and uh, suddenly changes roll through early just out here on the balcony. I'll just see if I can sneak around there a little bit more, but uh, it's left us with around two feet of bumpy swell from the board ride. As you can see, uh, those guys out off the uh, alley, they're just sitting and waiting patiently. I mean, it's a bummer because there were some little lines of swell here today anyway, regardless, before the suddenly hit. But uh, it did roll through at around about 5.30 this morning. It's, uh, I don't think this is the one they predicted for later on in the day. I'd just come earlier, I, I believe. So, and you can see all that cloud off the coastline out there um, suggests that we're not going to be getting towards that 40 degree heat wave sort of day that uh, they originally uh, spoke about and warned us about a week. So, um, maybe uh, this uh, forecast is being caught off guard. At the moment, I'll try and get a hold of Gab Morris uh, later on when he wakes up. And, have a talk to Gab and see what he uh, thinks about it. But uh, anyway, that's the uh, situation at the moment. Uh, suddenly has hit Newcastle. There's two feet of sloppy swell, and let's see if it burns out later and leaves us with the heat wave that they've been talking about. We'll talk to you guys later. Uh, this report body away brought to you by Surf Dive and Fish. Check out their website, surfdiveandfish.com.au. You'll be able to head off to the uh, Solomon Islands and New Guinea and spots like that uh, around this time of the year. Uh, usually got some pretty good waves. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye bye.